just witnessed some amazing Australian steaks. Some of them were prime grade, but most were Wagyu. And I'm talking about Australian Wagyu. That right there is what meat lovers love to see. Now, as you might already know, I love tri-aging all types of steaks. And I also love experimenting and sometimes I just go a little crazy. Especially when you dry-age beautiful steaks like this in peanut butter. That was a crazy experiment. After doing so many different dry-aging experiments, today is all about my Australian viewers. They ask me, how about dry-aging on Vegemite? I said, there's no way I'm gonna let any of my viewers down. So this is the world's first Vegemite dry-aging experiment. So let's do it. And here we have the special ingredient. And as far as I know, every single house in Australia has one of them. And my Australian friends absolutely love it. And as you can see, it is yeast extract. I mean, when I open the packaging, take a look at this. And boy, does it smell. I know it looks like chocolate, but let me tell you right now, it is not. When I turn it around, we can actually see every single ingredient that they use. But I'm actually wondering how thick it is. Check it out. Oof. This thing is like a rock. I mean, take a look at it. Oh boy, it is 100% stuck to the spoon. But hey, none of that really matters because what really does matter is actually the taste. And for today, I got my awesome cousin over here which has never tried Vegemite before. Vegemite, is this the thing that the Australian people love? That's right. <laughs> this thing is black. It is black. Smell it. Ooh. Okay, very unique smell. Wish me luck. Wow. <laughs> it's very interesting. Like this, it tastes like <laughs> some burnt paste. Like very creamy burnt paste. Please tell me they don't eat it like that. No, they don't eat it like that. <laughs> I'm gonna try it with some bread. Oh. Here, I prepared some nice bread and toast. Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay. All right, I can get behind this. Now that we know what it tastes like, it's time to start our experiment. And for that, I'm gonna be using this beautiful rib roast, which is a seven pound pure goodness of beef. To really be able to tell if there's any difference between them, I'm gonna be splitting it in half. This way I'll be saving one of them, freezing the other to compare how different it actually is with the Vegemite. Talking about that, the next thing to do is to cover this whole thing with it. And let me tell you something, this thing is thick. I mean real thick. The consistency is nothing like a spread, but it's more like a very dried out thick play-doh. <laughs> By no means is this smooth. It is also very sticky and it has a very strong smell. But after fighting with it for about 45 minutes, I was able to get the whole thing covered with it. And when I was done, this is what it looks like. That, friends, is definitely something you do not see every day. But now all there's left to do is to let it dry age in my refrigerator for a total of 35 days. Once the time was up, I removed it from the fridge and here's what I got. As you can see, the Vegemite started cracking and the smell is like 10 times stronger than when I originally applied. But I'm excited to find out what the meat looks like inside. So I got my knife and started to remove it. And as I did, what in the world? This thing is like a rock. It seems like the Vegemite acted as a glue and it is 100% stuck to the meat. But I'm not giving up because I really wanna see what it looks like underneath this rock. But the more pressure I try and the harder the harder I try, it just flakes off. I think this thing has become a fossil and it is the hardest and the most stickiest dry age experiment of my life. I've never got frustrated with any of my dry aging experiment, but this one got to me. But then I said, you know what? You wanna play rough? Okay, say hello to my little friend. This should do the trick. So I grabbed another piece of parchment paper so that I can transfer it. And as I did, check out the bottom. What is this? It is nice and soft. Maybe now I can just remove that part off. And as I tried it, it worked like a charm. As you can see, it removes like nothing. And when I was done, this is what it looks like. Now I'm really curious to see what the inside reveals. So I started by removing the bark, which is basically the outer skin that forms once you are dry aging meat. Then I took the bones out and saw some beautiful red meat. Next I jumped into the sides. The edges called pellicles, long like traditional dry aging, gotta go to the garbage. Because come on, who wants to eat a rock? But once I was done with the cleaning, this is what I was left with. Yep, 35 days Vegemite dry aged beef. That right there is not something you see every day. 
Now the only thing left to do is to cut it into steaks. As I did, of course, I gotta also trim the edges. Once I was done with the trimming, this is what I got. Now that is definitely something I can eat. If you just took a look at this, you would never know the journey that he actually went through. But hey, here we are. To make sure that this steak is not gonna fall apart on me, I decided to trussen it with butcher's twine. That should keep everything in one piece. And remember that we still have the original piece that we started with. I just took out the bone and as you can see, we have a nice beautiful ribeye. But when you put it next to the other one, oh boy. Boy, take a look at the difference. But now that we got both steaks ready, all there's left to do is to season them. And for that, I'm gonna be keeping it as simple as possible so that we can actually taste the beef. So I only season it with salt and freshly ground black pepper, nothing else. Now it's time to cook these beautiful steaks. And for that, the first thing I'm gonna be doing is putting a nice hard sear on both of them. Once that's reached, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook them. So let's do it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks. I got my cousin, Mama Zin, over here. What's up, guys? He's normally always with me on sous vide everything, but he said he want to try some Guga foods. What happened, Mama? I think I deserve some grilled steaks. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Mama. That's right, Mama Zin's been with me from the beginning of everything, everybody. Believe it or not, Mama, a lot of people don't know that I have a second channel or first channel. I don't even know what channel. Oh, it's a first channel, but <laughs> come. come. Come visit us, guys. guys. I have another channel called Sous Vide Everything. If you have not seen it, make sure you check it out. Okay, with all that being said, are you ready to try oh, it? The smell is oh, making me <laughs> drool over here. <laughs> the smell is phenomenal, I'll tell you that. Wow. So, like always, Momo, I like to experiment. This is an experiment. Of course, it yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Always experiment, everybody. Now, I got steak over here, and then I got another steak here. And we're gonna find out if there's any difference between them. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Let's go over here first, my mom. This one? Yeah. Oh. Perfectly medium rare, everybody. Wow. Just the way we love it. My mom loves to be so medium rare is our thing, right, mom? Yep. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a perfect steak. That's a perfect piece of steak. The little char on the outside. Yeah, from the charcoal. From the charcoal, it's been a while since I had that. <laughs> oh. Mama is used to the flamethrower, everybody. Yeah. Now I got to put some charcoal on his life. Oh, Mama. Ooh, and then the salt over here, perfectly salted too. <laughs> wow. I think Mama really, really enjoys a grilled steak, huh? Yes. <laughs> Mama missed I some charcoal, everybody. Don't worry, we're going to convert Mama to a charcoal lover, yeah? Wow, well, you're already a lover. I'm already a lover. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that one, Phenomenal. That's all I have to say about 10 that. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I 100% agree. I like to call that a Guga steak, everybody, because it's good all the time. The second one looks a little funky, the Guga. Yeah, it has no juice. It, and feels, it feels hard. And it feels tough. <laughs> like, it does feel tough. What's going on here, Omar? Huh? Wow. Let's, let me take a sniff at it and make sure it's... That smells weird, everybody. <laughs> Mama? I want to say he almost smells like dry aged. Yeah, oh, I don't know about but, that. But it's almost, it's not quite dry aged. Okay. <laughs> it's a little like extra funky. <laughs> That's right, it is a little extra funky. It is a weird, different smell. I don't know what to tell you, everybody. The only thing left to do is to give it a try. You ready for I'm it, my mom? this one, <laughs> Second one. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Mmm. Mm. Oh. 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 
Oh, 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 oh,